Potato hot pot is a hit in many families in Cameroon. It is delicious and extremely filling, perfect for lunch or a dinner party. Over the years, there have been many variations to this recipe and today I will be sharing with you my version. I'll be using potatoes, carrots, tomato puree, which is tomato I um, blended, steak, green beans, and here I have a mixture of um, black pepper, white pepper, and seasoning cube, cloves, curry powder, and salt. Before we start, please hit on the subscribe button if this is your first time and notification bell. When boiling my potatoes, I put enough water just to cover the bottom of the pan and subsequently I add water in bits when need be. This prevents my potatoes from soaking up so much water and it makes for perfectly cooked potatoes. When you pour your tomato puree in hot oil, you'll notice it starts bubbling. Please do not be tempted to stir it. The more you stir, the more it bubbles and this could burn you. So just let it sit. The tomatoes I'm using for this recipe is uh, tomato mazano. I have a full video on the different types of tomatoes you could use for stewing, which I'll add in the description box. Right now, I'll cover the tomato and let it cook for a while. To hot oil, add your potatoes. This is just to give your potatoes a crisp and firm exterior while still soft on the inside. So you don't necessarily want to fry it till it's golden brown, you just want it firm enough. To a hot pan, add oil. You want your oil hot enough so that you have a sizzling sound when your steak hits the pan. After searing your steaks for about a minute, go ahead and add butter. The butter is going to help add flavor to the steaks 
and it's going to give the exterior a caramelized color. That is what you want. So after adding your butter, you cook for a further 3 minutes before flipping it on the other side. The exterior is going to be browned and caramelized while it is medium rare on the inside. That is how I like my steaks. At this point, you're going to take them out of the pan and let them rest. It is important that you let your steaks rest. That makes for a very tender and delicious steak rather than having them chewy. So you take your pan off heat and please do not throw the oil which you used in searing your steaks because that is what you will use for your vegetables. In order to determine if my tomatoes are cooked enough, I run my spoon in the middle of the pan and if little or no water comes in, then it is ready for my stock. I know my tomato sauce is perfectly cooked when all the water dries up or should I say most of the water dries up and what you have on top of the tomato is oil. 